Hey, what's good y'all? Welcome to another episode of Fishing with Bottles. Back in the rocky neighborhood, I brought the big cat. We're gonna get into some fish. It is raining out. It's actually fairly warm though. But yeah, we got off real early this morning to get down here and take a shot at these fish. All right, let's see what it do. Just gonna start off with a little row bag action here. Bite is slow, it's been like 15 minutes. Oh, that was a bite. I just got hit. I might go to a jig, man. Yo, there's so many fish. Are they pinks? I got some of those little spoons. This guy's telling me there's pinks running right now. So I just threw on the spiciest pink bait there is. Yo! <laughs> Yo, this guy hammered it. Oh, dang! Oh! What was that? There we go. There's another one. Whoa, like, let's just take it down a notch, bro. All right, boom, first jack of the day. He's gonna be delicious. He's blind in one eye. Oh. He is leaking, man. Now watch my thread every time. Watch this. Come on. Fish. Every cast. Okay. Exactly like that. Whoa, that was strong. Man, you hooked another one already? I told you every time. And about uh, four feet. Right there. Ready? Set. And. What? Oh no! 
Dang. It's my first day. I'm going to try and wait a second before I set that hook. Oh, that was a bite. Should have just set the hook. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go back to it. I'm going to go to a jig here. This ain't working for me. All right, jig time. There we go. Ooh. Freaking dusty roads here. Looking dusty. This guy's so dirty. Underneath there, he looks good though, I promise. This place comes with built-in towels, like hand wipes. Perfect. Dirty little jig. Some cured roe on there. Oh, look at that juice. Oh yeah. Get that all up in there. Yeah, my one, he's like covered in dirt there now. Just pitched him into the sand. Yo, I started to reel in and I got hit again. Jigs, man. I don't know why I didn't just start with this. Oh yeah, he'll keep too. Let's go, baby. Yeah, dude, that's two in a row on the jig and the float. That's sick. All right, there's another one, man. Jig and the float's the way to go, for real. There we go. Dude, jigging a float, man, I'm telling you. Hey? Jigging a float, dude. Yeah, man. Just as effective as a... Bro. All right, these are beautiful looking fish. I'm having a great time out here. Dude, I got the dirtiest fish, man. Ugh. So we're actually going to have to start netting these fish now. Huh? We're going to have to start netting these fish now. Not just slanging them up on the bank. Yeah! I'm gonna net this guy. Woo! Ugh.
Man, these are such beautiful fish. I'm not even gonna handle this guy. I'm just gonna leave him in the net and put him back in. Yeah, man, every cast. He's so small. I'll let him just kind of shake off the hook. What is that? Okay. He got off. Dude, I've hooked some big ones on the jig and the float. It's worth a try. Yeah. Maybe. Might be able to get him. Damn. So close. Oh. oh I just got to choke up on the bat. What? These smaller guys that I'm not keeping, I'm just going to give you guys a real quick good look at them, get them back in the water. Oh, I just got hit. I was sleeping. Yep, come on. Just another little guy. Oh, he's off. All right, y'all. It's been a pretty fun day out. It's just real hot out right now. Sweating on these rocks. It's good to catch some fish though. Time to cook these suckers. All right, so the way I'm gonna cook these is I'm gonna do it skin on. So that means I gotta scale these fish. Just take your knife and go to work against the scales. But yeah, if you keep it under the water, you won't have uh, scales just flying all over your house. Now you can cut your fillets any way you like, don't matter to me. So I like my fillets nice and boneless. If you just run your finger along here, you can feel all those bones. And we just go and tweeze them. Just like that.
Got them all tweezed. All right, I do not measure anything when I cook. So here we go. So we're gonna go onion powder, some garlic powder, black pepper, salt, oregano, cayenne, cayenne. Get some cayenne in there. We all know real men don't cry, but if you get the eye sweats from some hot food, I'll let it slide. Getting the cast iron pan fired up. Hit it with a little bit of oil. I'm using avocado oil. Just melted some butter in the microwave. Got our spices. Pan's getting hot. Pan is nice and hot, so we're gonna take our first fillet, get it in there, get it nice and coated. You do not have to go the melted butter route, but go the melted butter route. Skin down, good to go. These things are so easy to cook because you can see the color changing up the sides. I don't know what kind of herb from Jamaica you've been smoking, but that is disgusting crap. Hi.